Hey, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the dryer belt on any front load dryer. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, of course, for safety is unplug your dryer. And I've already unhooked the vent pipe that goes outside. So I can pull my dryer away from the wall and you'll see why in a second. So most dryers are basically the same. They're all universal. I'm not saying they're everyone's the same, but mostly they are. So they all come apart the same and the internal parts of your dryer are pretty much all the same. You're probably wondering, if you've never done this before, I'm going to show you step by step on how to tear this dryer apart. You don't see any uh, screws or handles or anything, but right here you have lines at the front of your dryer. This top is removable. The front is removable. So I'm just going to open the door and there's two clips here. This is a Samsung dryer, but they're basically all the same. So you just lift, And you can see the front lifts up. So you might have a model that has the lint catcher here, the filter. So you're gonna pull the lint filter out and you're gonna see two screws. Those two screws will have to come undone. This model doesn't have it, so we're gonna continue. The reason I'm replacing the drum belt today on this dryer is because I had to change the idler pulley that is down below. And what happened was this belt chewed through that idler pulley. The idler pulley probably seized up and the belt was just spinning on it and it chewed through that pulley and it probably damaged this belt some. There is some wear on the sides here. It, it works just fine, but I'm gonna replace it anyway and keep this belt as a backup. So the front face of this dryer has to come off so I can remove the drum and remove the belt. So we're gonna unhook some wiring. So right here, we just have to pull this wire here apart. And you're just gonna find a spot here in the connection where you have to push down on, and it just comes apart easily. Now we have this wire here. We have to remove these screws and remove this to get to this wire to disconnect it as well. So we're gonna need a screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver for these three screws here, and there's a screw here. There may be some other screws on yours. This here is missing a couple. So whatever screws that you see that holds the front face of this dryer in place, you need to undo. And then there are some in here as well that we have to undo. I think it's this one here and then two down at the bottom. And then this whole front piece will come forward, fall forward, and it clips down at the bottom. And we just lift it up and take it off and unhook this wire at the same time. So you may want to use a Phillips screwdriver for here to take these screws out. I'm going to be using my Ryobi gun to save time. I'm not even sure if this screw has to come out. I do this every time I take the dryer apart, I don't remember. But it also holds this part here underneath. But these two definitely have to come out. So you'll see a tab here and a tab here. You just lift this metal up and your door falls forward and it's got to lift it up and it comes right off. But remember, there is this wire here that has to come off here. And you, you just take it off. And there you go, you can remove the whole front of your dryer in one piece. So now you're gonna to wanna to remove this inner piece, which is one, two, three, four screws. And under here, there's one, two, three, I think that's it, three screws to this part here that connects to the blower motor. And this wire here, just press down on this connection here and undo it. So we'll grab the Ryobi gun again. And we're going to back out some more screws and then these four here that hold that inner panel. And we're just going to remove it. Like this. You lift it and it comes out through the wider slots. And there, our inner part is here. Now, if you ever find that your dryer is not tumbling properly and making noise, you'll see idler wheels here. They may be shot, so you'll have to get new idler wheels. There are some on the inside there too, like on the other end of the drum. So to replace the drum, I'm not sure if I had to take this off or not. Yeah, I, well, no, I didn't really, but I wanna clean everything up. 
there's lint inside here that needs to be cleaned up and it's a good time if you got things apart it's a good time to vacuum all inside your your dryer and clean everything up keep it in good working order and possibly prevent fires you can see there's lint inside the blower motor here so i'm going to clean all this up at the same time so here we have our drum and we have to undo it but we have to go underneath and undo it around that idler pulley to get slack in the belt so we can remove the drum. So I'm down here below the drum and I hope, hopefully you can see that idler pulley that's in there. You can see the belt that goes around the idler pulley and the drum. So there's a spring on that idler pulley. You just pull it one way and it'll put some slack on your belt. You can slide the belt off there so that you can get the drum off. So what I'll do is I'll reach inside around here to do this. All right, I got the belt off of the pulley. You can see there's slack in the belt now. And we can just lift our drum out of here. So you just pick it up and pull it straight out. Slide your belt off if you need to. And pull your drum out. This is very light. It's not a problem. Okay, here we are inside the dryer and you have access to everything. This is your blower motor. This is the motor for turning your drum. This is that idler pulley I was talking about. See, it has the spring there. So I just had to pull it forward like this to get the belt off of the pulley. I couldn't show you because it was all closed in. And this here is your heating element. And sometimes these heating elements go, I replaced it, I got a video on it, and it's easy to fix. Then you got your thermal fuse. Sometimes if your dryer is not heating, one of these the thermal fuse can go too. You have to replace it. You can do almost anything yourself when it comes to a dryer, almost. These are your other pulleys that your drum rides on. Sometimes these get wore out, they have bearings, and uh, you will get a very noisy dryer and it maybe your drum won't even turn if these go bad and you can replace these as well they're just held on with a clip so getting back to the video we're going to take our drum belt out and replace it with the new drum belt okay i got my new belt out of the package and i'm just going to make sure that it's the right length the same as the other one because you always want to be sure but and you can never tell for sure that's why there's a spring-loaded idler wheel because sometimes those belts will stretch and as you can see, this here, I don't know if you can see that, it's the same length. Um, the original one may be stretched a little bit. So I went ahead and vacuumed everything up. It's good to keep it clean. Okay, so we're gonna first, we're gonna wrap our belt around our drum. You're gonna have a flat side of the belt and you're gonna have a rib side. The rib side of the belt wants to be on your drum. So we're just going to put this here like this, slip it over the drum rib side down. Okay, now we're just gonna lift it up, slide it back into your dryer, and just kind of lightly put it in place. Okay, we're under the belt now, and you can see that the belt is just hanging there loosely. There, hopefully you can see how the belt goes on that pulley and the motor. I think that shows it pretty good. I'll try to get a different angle. Okay, now we're gonna add this inner piece right here back into place. So we have to get these wheels here in place so that the drum can roll on top of them. So we'll put them under the drum. Then we're gonna lift everything. Now, if you have a problem like I did, that's because my wheel wasn't on the lip of the drum. Say this is the drum. The wheel wasn't in behind that lip. It came back out on me. So everything here is back in place. And we can put these four screws in. I took this lint catcher out of, so I could put it in place properly. But this, remember, this is on the Samsung dryer. I don't know, you may have a different one with your lint catcher on the top. Now we're gonna grab this bottom part and we're gonna fit it over our blower motor. 
Okay, so we got this in place and everything's lined up. We can put our screws in here, three screws, two, four screws up there. We can plug this back in now. I'm going to leave some links down below in the description to where you can get your belt and you can also get that idler pulley if you need to or any parts in here, even a heating element. And the good thing about these dryers is you can do a lot of this work yourself. Save you a lot of money on getting someone to come and fix it, a tech. You could save money on buying a new dryer. All you have to do is come to my channel and I'll show you how to fix your dryer or your washer. And if you appreciate that, just leave me a like or a comment. And you can also hit the thanks button below this video. There's a heart that says thanks in the middle. You can even donate to the channel so I can keep bringing you videos like this. Now we're going to add our door and our front fascia to here. Right on the bottom you're going to see these two clips here that stick out. They're going to go on slots on the bottom of your door. Actually three slots, three, actually three tabs and three slots. There we just rest it in place like that. And we're going to come here and we're going to hook up this wire before we close everything up. Actually First thing we're going to do is hook up our wire here. And then we're going to lower the front fascia and door into the three slots at the bottom. It's already in there. Push this forward in place. And then we're going to put our three bolts in the top and a few bolts here at the front. So this screw here I undid by mistake. I didn't have to undo. So you just have to do the two that are here. And then we'll add the three on the top frame. Now we're going to reconnect this wire here to this wire. And all we have left to do is lower the door. Make sure nothing's pinched in there, your wires. Put it in place. And just pound down the top. Pop it in place. There you go. It's in place. And we'll take a look. Your drum turns good. Just make sure everything's good there. The belt is on. You can feel the tension. We're going to come around here and plug everything back in. And we're going to hook up our exhaust pipe. Now turn the dryer on. Actually, we'll push the safety button here and we'll hit start. And your drum is turning. The belt is working good. So that's how you replace the dryer belt on just about any dryer. Today we're working on a Samsung dryer. And remember, you can get it done. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.